Operation Sort Out the House and Garden continues at full pace today. That's, that's not me doing grass cutting, that's them. We still haven't cut our grass. But we will, won't we, Dave? Dave, come and have a look at the camera. People miss you when you're not on the vlog. He's so camera shy, he's worse than Lucy for it. Isn't ya? There you go, look. Official Dave camera time. Yeah. Good. Right, I need to go and get on. Well, yes, Dave, I see you. Now you want to be on camera. I've been putting it off for long enough. Assuming we've still got a, wa a, a watermelon. Assuming we've still got a lawnmower, which is a big assumption to make. Me and Dave are going to cut the grass. Well, it's a long way from perfect, but it's an awful lot better than it was. And I'm going to take that to win today because my back really hurts. We'll revisit this in a couple of days' time. Dave's quite impressed though. You right, Dave? He's got a pillow because he likes pillows. Dave, that's not a good pillow off the sofa, is it? He's allowed that one. He's allowed two of the purple ones. Ah, why does my hair look so ridiculous? Ah, need another haircut again. Finally giving in with my hair. The hat's gone on. Look at the state of this. Ridiculous. Dave, come here, because you are what I want to talk about. There is a dog down here, he's just, here we go. Hello, Dave. Right, this beast is one of the things that I want to talk to you a lot about today, because one of the, you're having a look at the camera now, are you? Get your nose off the lens, that was expensive. <laughs> one of the things, Dave, Dave, get off the microphone. Right, sit down. One of the things, one of the most common comments that we get is people asking why we don't get an autism service dog. The main reason we don't is because we've got this dog. And they actually, oh, Dave, you know you're too big to sit on my lap now. No. No, no. Am I going to have to put you inside? Can you sit nicely? The main reason we got Dave, three and a bit, four years ago now, was because it was suggested that it would be really good for Andy to have a dog because of all the stories that we'd read and other people had read about how well children with autism bond with animals and how he might be able to bond with a dog better than he's able to bond with the girls or with me um, or with other children. So we started doing some research to work out what kind of dog we should get. I had never had a dog before, not a dog person at all. We used to have a cat. In fact, when we got Dave, we still had a cat called Charlie who died about three years ago now. Yeah, I'd never had a dog at all. Anna had always grown up around dogs, but I hadn't had one since she'd had Andy, really. It's not anything he'd ever really been around. Her mum's got a dog who Andy talks to, but doesn't massively interact with. And we probably should have taken that as a clue to how he was likely to react to us getting a dog. But we ignored all that. We did lots of research, the way I like to do, lots of reading about it. Went to various dog shelter places to have a look at different types of dog. Spoke to the people there about what their views on it were. They were all very positive about how good dogs could be for children with autism. We did look into getting a, like a fully trained autism dog, but the waiting list for that was so long that we kind of felt, what's the point? By, by the time we get to the top of that waiting list, he's gonna be that much older that he might not benefit from it, from it anymore and we thought that rather than waiting however many years it would take us to get through that waiting list the better option would be for us to just get a dog not worry about him being trained specifically to deal with autism but just hope that Andy bonded with him and they became big buddies so we chatted to the people at the dog shelters we did lots of research we read lots of books to try and work out what kind of dog that we should get because we wanted a dog that obviously wouldn't ever be violent towards Andy or us or any of the other kids we didn't want one with a temper but at the same time we needed a dog that would be able to handle sudden loud shrieking noises without panicking for when Andy just decides to shriek for no reason and we needed a dog that could handle a little bit of rough and tumble because Andy's not averse to when he doesn't want something or somebody to be around he has no issue at all we're just pushing him away we certainly didn't want to get a dog that at the moment Andy pushes him in the face for the first time or something like that, it just bites back at him and then we have to get rid of the dog. The lady who we spoke to at the at the dog shelter, I forget which one it was we went to now. 
I'll try and remember to look it up and put a link to it in the in the description because she was really really helpful and she said right first of all what you're describing there is you need a gun dog to so get a gun dog which I know Springer Spaniels like they fall into that category I can't even remember what the other categories or breeds I suppose see not a dog person I don't remember what the other breeds were that we had to choose from at the time but there was a list of however many we went around all the the dog shelters locally and none of them had an appropriate dog but Anna started looking around on the internet and it turned out that there was a litter of puppies that had been born just down the road where they'd all gone apart from apart from the one that was left um, they said well everyone picked all the other ones first but you can come and have a look at him so he's bless him a little run to the litter but we went to a, went to have a look at him Anna picked him up I'd given her instructions in the car Whatever you do, don't walk in there letting them think that you're just going to buy straight away. <laughs> you know, play hard to get. Like you're, like you're going to buy a used car, kick the tyres a little bit first. But she just went in there, picked him up, cuddled him and didn't put him down until we were in our living room a couple of hours later after we were I think, 300 pounds lighter. Is well, I mean, I should have known when she said, we need to go to the cash machine on the way. And she drew the cash out to buy him there and then. So we brought him home. It was a really little puppy, tiny little thing when we brought him home. And because I know nothing about dogs, really, the, the early training and all that stuff fell onto Anna as I was doing my research. And they just, I don't know, they, him and Andy never really bonded. Dave's always been interested in Andy, but Andy's just never been interested in him to the, to the point where when... Andy was a little bit younger. He would scream and shout to when we'd have to get Dave out of the room. So we had to move. So Dave kind of lives in the dining room. Andy lives in the living room. And we try and bring them together as much as possible. But for probably a couple of hours at a time, quite often Dave is led out into the dining room by Andy because he just doesn't want him in the room. Um, and he's even mastered sort of leading him in there himself, shutting the door behind him. And then we'll let him back in. And then he'll be led back in there again. And it's, it's a shame that they just don't really get on and I think one of the big issues is because that animal there insists on sitting there and watching Andy eat you've seen the little table that we have in the living room that Andy eats at and Dave just sits there and stares at him and Andy can't handle people looking at him at all really he doesn't like people staring at him but certainly not while he's eating and it got to the point where he just Andy would run off upstairs so we'd have to take Dave out of the room so Andy could eat and then Andy realized that a way to get Dave out of the room was to take him out of the room and just started doing it himself so we're now at a point where they just they both exist in this same house but they very rarely see each other when Andy goes to school in the morning before he goes to school Dave will just stay in the dining room and sometimes come out into the garden but once Andy goes to school Dave then gets free run of the rest of the house and he'll come and sit with me for a bit I keep meaning to get him a little bed to sit in out in the garage so he can come and keep me company during the day when I'm out there because when I go to work and go and sit in the garage Dave stays in the house mainly because whenever he comes in the garage at the moment he's really excited because it's new and he's knocked lamps over and climbed up on the desks you've seen how he's just been clambering over me he's not the most trained dog in the world and that's something one day we'll work on but you know we've got to pick our battles we'll worry about getting the kids sorted first and once we've got everything around Andy exactly where we want it to be then we'll perhaps worry about training the dog but for now he's just a big dopey dipstick who does what he likes and I mean he responds to simple commands like sit and no and in and I'm saying these things to him now and his ears are pricking up every time I'm saying them but I'm going to get him a little bed to come out and sit with me out in the out in the garage but as you've seen the big issue is as soon as i start talking he wants to climb on me so it'll be pretty challenging to record videos out there at least until he gets used to sort of being curled up in a bed in the corner but at the same time i don't want him to freeze so we need to sort out the temperature in the room first um, and then in the afternoons when andy gets home andy the first thing he does he'll shut dave into the dining room if i haven't already done it because i know he's going to do it anyway so sometimes i'll just put dave out there before andy comes in and then he'll kind of just sit out in the dining room i'll be out there cooking dinner with him and then He'll get taken out for a walk by one of us. And then when Andy goes to bed about half eight, he'll come back into the house for the, into like the living room for the rest of the evening. He's gone inside that playhouse. I don't want to go over there and start him out of it. But hold on, let's go and have a look. Oh, he's up to. What are you doing, Dave? Just having a little go in the playhouse here. Do you like having the grass cut? Yeah, you're going to climb on me again, aren't you? That is why we don't have an autism service dog. It's why we have Dave, and 
it's one of those things that's on that's on our long-term to-do list is training him up to being a little bit more obedient for us and also a little bit more helpful for Andy but I don't know it's something that I think we're probably going to start working on over the coming months once we've got the house sorted Andy's back at school regularly now we're slowly we're slowly getting the house back to how we want it to be I think the next battle is going to be right what can we do with Dave and Andy to start building some kind of bond between the two of them. Because when we go for walks in the woods, and he loves to hold Dave's lead, won't come out for a walk with him at home though. It's only when we go to the woods. So we'll figure something out eventually. It's about quarter past 11 at night. Sorry, I'm so close. Just finished streaming, everyone else is in bed. I realized I forgot to say goodbye earlier. But secondly, what is happening? We've had a massive increase in views and subs on the channel in the last month. It got more massive in the last few days. It's got more massive in the last hour. To give you some context, up until about three and a half weeks ago, we were getting about a thousand to one and a half thousand views a day on the channel. So far in the last two days, we've had 70,000 views in two days. 8,000 of them have come in the last hour, which is comfortably, comfortably the biggest hour I've ever had in two years of doing YouTube. And I don't know why. I'm sure I'll figure it out overnight but subs are piling on like constantly for the last couple of hours. It's brilliant, don't, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining, it's fantastic. A third of the entire views in the history of this channel have come in the last three weeks. It's all going a bit crazy, but it seems to be getting extra crazy right now. And I don't really wanna to go to bed because I wanna watch it continue being crazy. So I think I'm gonna go and play FIFA for a few hours, watch the wrestling, because it's hell in a cell tonight. Just stay up all night doing my nerdy thing, but keeping an eye on what's going on on this channel, because it's something is afoot, and it's fantastic, and I'm so excited that I wouldn't be able to sleep anyway. If you have enjoyed today's video, please make sure you pop a like on there for me. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. Thank you very much. Seriously, thank you very much for watching.